Hello there. Hello. Hi, Deborah. How are you? How are you, Deborah? Gracie. Cherie Nicole. <laughs> hey. Hey, Cherie. I love your hair. <laughs> By the way, I saw your post. Absolutely beautiful. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Gracie. Hi. Uh, oh, I have two Debras. Deborah Gant and Deborah. Is that Deborah Davis? Hi, hi. Hello. Hello, ladies. Come on in. I know I say this every time. We're not going to be long tonight. <laughs> I say it every time. I'm really going to try to be really quick tonight, all right? <laughs> I'm going to try to be really quick tonight. Really quick tonight. Love you, Sheree. Uh, Sheila, hi. Hi, Sheila. How are you? Come on in. Come on in, ladies. Make sure you tag and share, tag and share, tag and share. Good. I'm glad to hear that, Deborah. I'm glad that you're blessed. Delois Wilds. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, Wonder Woman. How are you? Lolita. Hi, Lolita. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Hi, Kay. Hello. Make sure you tag and share, ladies, if you would be so kind as to put this prayer meeting on your page. I'd appreciate it. If you'd share it there, i really appreciate it. Or if you just tag some ladies in the comments right now, why don't you tag them? Uh, God bless you, Delois. Hello, Helen. Uh, why don't you tag them uh, right quick, okay? Tag them right quick. So we can go on and uh, get into the word and then we'll get into prayer. Hi. Hi, Rashina. How are you? Thanks for tagging Latanya. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Come on in, ladies. Come on in. If you do not get my e-blast, I want you to make sure that you go to my website, AngelaMartinMinistries.com. Download those seven sacred starters. When you go to my website, that's the first thing that you will see. The download is free. It's not going to cost you anything it's free. It's absolutely free. It's a prayers for every day of the week. Sometimes if you're running out of the house or sometimes you get a, um, you're rushing to get out and, and maybe you don't, uh, don't have time to really take time and sit and pray. You can read one of those prayers. If you're on the train, right before you start work, whatever you need to do, it's a prayer for every day of the week. So make sure you do that. If you do not get my e-blast, make sure that you go to my website, AngelaMartinMinistries.com and download the seven sacred starters, which are free prayers for you to quote every morning. It covers your day, all right? So make sure that you do that. We're going to get into the word first today, ladies, and then we are going to pray, all right? We're going to pray. I want to start by congratulating you on uh, completing your fast with your churches. I know a lot of you uh, were fasting with your churches for January. Perhaps your fast is still going on. Some of them have ended, but I really want to congratulate you on that. Uh, most of you that are joining me have been on a fast with your churches, your uh, respective churches, your pastors have called fast for January. Most churches do. So I want to congratulate you for uh, doing that because it's definitely going to make a difference in your year. Uh, the Lord told me to tell you this. Make sure uh, that you continue this fast. It was a great way to start off the year, you know, to deny your flesh and make sure you start the year off with the Lord in a spiritual place. Um, in a place where you can hear his voice, because that is what fasting does. It quiets your soul so your spirit can be uh, elevated and you can hear from God. That's what fasting does. But the Lord told me to tell you that uh, January was not the only month that you are to fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are to live a fasted life. <clears throat> Our lives, we are supposed to live a fasted life, especially being women of prayer. You have to fast and pray. It goes with it. We are to live a fasted life so that January was great to kick off your mindset of fasting, but we are to fast often. So I want you to continue with that momentum. Keep your momentum with that. It's easier to continue something than it is to start something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I have a witness? It is easier for you to continue something than it is for you to start something. I'll prove it to you. If you're on a workout regimen, if you've been doing real good for about four months and you have to take off maybe a few weeks, it is so hard to start back again. It's easier to continue if, you, if you're if uh, you on an eating regimen. I always do that. I always liken um, spiritual things to natural things in our bodies and our flesh because they are so akin. They are so much alike. Your spiritual growth and what you do for your spirit is so akin to what you do for your natural body. It is easier for you to continue to eat right than it is for you to start. Okay, give me a hand in the comments. 
<laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's easier once you have your momentum. If you've been going to the gym and you take off a few weeks, whoo, Lord. When you go back, it's like you have to start all over again. So I want you to have that mindset when it comes to fasting. You've already started that momentum. So just continue. Fast like once a week. Just fast once a week. It'll really be good for you. Don't be alarmed. I'm not talking about fasting, you know, the way that you did in January. I'm not talking about that, ladies. But I'm just talking about maybe once per week. If you could just continue to live a fasted life, it's going to help your prayer life. It's going to sharpen your ear. So you can hear the voice of God. So just, just consider that. Consider to, consider keeping that momentum to just fast maybe once per week. When I was working in corporate America, I used to fast on Fridays. That was just my fast day because I lived a very regimented life. <laughs> I had to get a lot done, uh, with, with a lot of assignments I had. So I, I would categorize things a lot in my life. So on Fridays, that was my fast day. I would just fast one day per week. You, it doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise you, it would make a difference. And then when I would want to fast more, I would feel the Lord calling me to fast more. I would do a three-day fast. Real simple. Check this out. This was my three-day fast. I would go Monday till noon. Tuesday, I would fast until three. And then Wednesday, I'd fast until six. That's all. Doesn't that sound simple? Easy? You'd be surprised what that would do for you. You'd be surprised. So I, I really want us to do that uh, at some point later. Not, not right now because, you know, you you just uh, finished fasting with your churches. But sometime later on, uh, not too far in the distant future, but but sometime later on, I want us to go on a fast together. And we're going to do the three-day gra gradual fast, Monday till noon, Tuesday till 3, and Wednesday until six you, you're gonna be surprised at what that will do for you so um yeah so i want you all to continue your momentum with fasting and then when your pastor does call another fast you won't have to start over because <laughs> you're used to doing it so when you hear uh your pastor or your prayer leaders at your church say we're going on a fast it won't um it won't uh, startle you so much because sometimes it can be like, oh my god no we got to fast but when you live a fasted life it's really not, you know, it's not that much of a big deal for you. So um, congratulations on your fast. And we're going to fast together uh, sometime later. Not not too far away, but sometime later this year. All right. So let's turn the page. Let's turn the page. I want to talk to you about something that uh, this evening that's really going to help you. I was coaching someone in prayer and um, they were being very honest with me. I mean, that's what my coaching sessions are. They're honest and transparent transparent sessions we we just speak from the heart so i was coaching someone in prayer and they were very honest and transparent with me and they said to me angela i don't have the discipline to do anything not only to pray but i don't have the discipline to work out i don't i don't have discipline with my eating regimen i don't really complete my goals i start off i'm real good and then i never complete anything and they were like i just want to be honest with you I, it's not just prayer for me i don't have the discipline really to do a lot of things so i'm working uh I'm working with them through that. I'm working with them through that. Can you relate? Let me know in the comments. Do you have problems with discipline? Let me know. Just raise your hand. Just give me a raised hand in the comments. We all have, have issues with certain things. So just let me know. Do you have a problem, an issue a little bit with completing assignments or really sticking to a regimen? Do you have uh, issues with that sometimes? Come on, we're just honest. We all, come on. We all have something we're working on. Just let me see your hand. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mira. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Yes, we all are working on something. Yes, thank you, Kay. Thank you for being honest. We all are working on something. So I have a question for you uh, as far as that discipline that you're working on. Have you ever really um, sincerely prayed and asked God to help you with it? Have you really sincerely prayed? Because I'm going to tell you in my coaching session, when I when I um, offered this uh, remedy, they were shocked. It was like, you know, I never prayed about my prayer life. I say, right. <laughs> it's so it's, it's so simple. It's profound. I was like, no, I said, have you ever prayed and said, Lord, help me. Help me to pray every day. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about praying about the thing that you need to do? Have you ever prayed about that? Have you ever prayed about following the doctor's orders with your eating habits? Have you ever prayed about it and said, Lord, I know the doctor, what the doctor is telling me to do, what I need to cut out. Lord, help me. <laughs> Let me tell you some sisters. I pray about everything. <laughs> 
Because I need help. I can't live this life by myself. I'm wise enough to know that. I pray about everything. Have you really thought about saying, Lord, help me? Help me. I know the doctor is telling me to take this out of my diet. It's hard for me. Lord, I need you to help me. Have you ever thought about that, my sisters? Have you ever thought about saying, Lord, help me? See, no. See, Marie, see? This is why we're here tonight. This is why we're here tonight. Thank you for being honest, Marie. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about saying, Lord, I need to eat better? Now, I, I know I don't eat well, Jesus. So I need you to help me. Help me to desire vegetables and the things that are good for me. I need you to help me. See, we have to ask for help. We have to ask for help. I have a news flash for you tonight. I have a news flash for you. The most difficult thing that you need to do, you don't have to do that by yourself. You don't have to do that by yourself. That, that thing that is hard for you to do, that thing that is difficult for you to do, newsflash, hello, 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 hello. You don't have to do that by yourself. You don't have to do that by yourself. The difficulty in grasping the fullness of the word uh, of the word discipline is is uh because it makes you feel like you got to do it by yourself. And it's all on you. Discipline. When you think of discipline, you think to yourself, oh my God, I got to get myself together. I got to make myself do this. I got to help. Discipline, that does not mean you by yourself. Not when you are a daughter of the Most High God. It doesn't mean that. When you think of discipline in that way, it's, it seems so hard and then you just give up. It's like, I can't do it. You just give up. But I'm going to give you a very profound and simple truth tonight. As a daughter of the Most High God, discipline does not mean you do this by yourself. Discipline means you do it with God. Hallelujah. That's what discipline means. Discipline means you do it with God, not by yourself. You don't have to work out by yourself. You don't have to make sure you start walking and moving your body by yourself. You don't have to uh, try to curb and curtail your eating habits by yourself. You have help. God, I I feel God's presence today. I couldn't wait to talk to y'all tonight. <laughs> you have help. Put this in the comments. Say discipline means me plus God. Come on, put that in the comment comments. Come on. Discipline means me plus God. It's not just me. See, this is why people praise people so much who do things because they feel like, oh my God, you did that all here by yourself. That discipline. No, 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 no. It means you plus God. And when you think of it like that, he will help you do it. I'm telling you, God will help you do everything, my dear sisters. He will help you. I want you to think about this. God will help you. Whatever you need to do, God will help you do it. I had a dear sister who needed to, to start walking and exercising more. Because the doctor told her that she needed to move. Now, in her in her own strength, she was like, I hate it. I don't want to do it, Angela. I don't want to do it. I said, listen to me. Listen to me. If the doctor says you're going to get off this medicine, if you do this, we're going to do this. So what I would do, my dear sisters, this is what I would do. I said, I'm going to commit to you. Now, if I commit to you, you got to commit. Because when I commit, I don't play. So I was like, first of all, think about it if you really want to do it. Because if you really want to do it, I am going to help you do it. She was like, Angela, I really want to do it. I said, I'm going to help you do it. I said, meet me at the trail every day at 6, 6 a.m. She was like, I said, yeah, we got to do it at 6 because I got to start my day. We got to do other things in the day. So by 7.30, I need to start my own day. But I'm going to commit 6 o'clock to you every day. It was the summertime. It was summer. It was hot. It was beautiful. At 6 o'clock, it was already light outside. I said, I'm going to meet you at the trail. We met every day at 6 o'clock for 30 days. I said, I'm going to commit to you for 30 days. You must come. One, uh, Some days it was raining. When, when she pulled up, I was, I was sitting in my car like, you ready? She was like, I knew you weren't going to take off. I knew you weren't going to quit. I was waiting for you to call me. I said, what's wrong with the rain? This is God's, God's rain. Oh, my God. This rain feels so good. It's like we're having a, a nature shower. Come on, let's walk. We're not, we not sugar. We're not going to melt. We did it for 30 days. Do you know, my dear sisters, do you understand? God, this blesses me even to this day. When she went back to the doctor, the doctor told her, I don't know what you've been doing, but you're not going to need me after a while. You're not even going to need me. I don't know what happened. I don't know what you did. <laughs> 
But keep doing it because in a little while, you're not going to even need to come to me. Because we, and we would be on the trail and I was like, Lord, I said, let's pray. God, help us. Help us to walk, God. Help us to do what we need to do. God will help you if you let him. <laughs> Ask God for help. Ask him, my sisters, ask him for help. The Holy Spirit is your invisible trainer. The Holy Spirit is your coach. The Holy Spirit is your encourager. People don't see him. They just see the results of what happened when they see that you've been disciplined. But what's going on, my dear sisters, is you have a partnership. God, help me today. You have a partnership. You have a partnership, glory to God, with the Holy Ghost. You have a partnership. And you do not have to be disciplined alone. The Holy Spirit will help you do whatever you need to do. Let's look at John chapter 14. Read the entire chapter. All right. Let's look at John chapter 14. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Now, this does not only mean the Ten Commandments. Jesus is referring to whatever he tells us to do. He knows that a lot of times the things that he tells us to do will take discipline. So he says, if you love me, you're going to keep my commandments. And <clears throat> pardon me. He says, and I'm going to ask the father to send the Holy Spirit to help you. God, help me today. Look at that. Jesus is saying, if you love me, you'll do what I say. You're going to keep my commandments, but I know it's going to be hard. So what I'm going to do when I leave here, I'm going to ask the father, send the Holy Ghost. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> send the Holy Ghost. God, I feel your presence. I'm going to ask the father, send the Holy Ghost, and he's going to help you. Glory to God. He's going to help you. Sisters, the Holy Spirit will help you work out. The Holy Spirit will help you eat right. The Holy Spirit will help you do whatever you need to do. Listen to me. The Holy Ghost is not just for speaking in tongues, running around the church, shouting, dancing. That is that is not his only um, uh, service to us. Does that happen when we feel him? Absolutely. I love the Holy Ghost. I love feeling his presence. But that is not the only thing that the Holy Spirit is in your life to do. The Holy Spirit is in you to help you. The Holy Spirit will help you pray. The Holy Spirit will help you be disciplined. The Holy Spirit will help you exercise. The Holy Spirit will help you eat right. The Holy Spirit will help you with your goals. He'll help you complete things. The Holy Spirit does that. Now, in, in, in this chapter, the Holy Spirit's name in Greek is paraclete. P-A-R-A-C-L-E-T-E. -E. The Holy Spirit's Greek name is paraclete. What does the word paraclete mean? This word paraclete, which is the Holy Spirit, means, listen to this, listen to this. I want you to jot some of these down because I want you to understand what the Holy Ghost is for. Okay? I want you to understand. I utilize every part of the Holy Ghost. I use everything. I, I, I use them. I use them up. <laughs> I use all of the Holy Ghost. I use all of them. Hallelujah. And I want you to use all of them. Now, listen to me. I want you to jot some of these down. I want you to know what the Holy Spirit is. Okay. His Greek, the Greek word for Holy Spirit is paraclete. The word paraclete means number one, advocate. Type that. I want you to know what the Holy Spirit is. Number one, advocate. Number two, the Holy Spirit is a helper. Okay. Number three. The Holy Spirit is a comforter. Okay. Number four, the Holy Spirit is the intercessor. Hallelujah. I feel God tonight. Okay. The Holy Spirit is also the counselor. Oh my God. I love you tonight. The Holy Spirit will counsel you. The Holy Spirit will tell you what to do when you don't know what to do, when you are confused, when you are like, Lord, where do, where do I go? Where do I turn? The Holy Spirit, my dear sisters, is a counselor. He will counsel you. The Holy Spirit, listen to this, is a strengthener. He will give you strength when you are weak and tired, when you're mentally drained. The Holy Spirit, one of his names, one of his attributes is he is a strengthener. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He is a strengthener. Lastly, I love this one. The Holy Spirit is, check this out. He's called the standby. <laughs> 
Lord, when I was studying this, I couldn't wait to get to you tonight. The Holy Spirit, my dear sisters, one of his names is real, literally stand by. To stand by. The Holy Spirit is standing by you. He's standing right there when you need him, waiting for you to acknowledge him and ask him for help. The Holy Spirit will help you at work. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will help you complete your assignments. The Holy Spirit will do any, the Holy Spirit will help you be a wife. The Holy Spirit will help you be a mother. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's standing by. Woo, my God. His name is stand by. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> he is standing by waiting to help you. All you have to do is acknowledge him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hiya. Mm. Hallelujah. Okay, I just feel led. Let's just post this in the comments. Everybody watching me, please, if you're on the replay or if you're watching me live, type this in the comments. Oh, wait, go ahead, everybody, come on, we're going to get help tonight, put in the comments, make this prayer, make this declaration right now, say, help me, Holy Ghost, come on, go ahead, go ahead, we're almost done, we're going to close in prayer, come on, say it, come on, help me, Holy Ghost, come on, hallelujah, Glory. Okay. oh, hallelujah, okay, stick with me, I don't know what's going on with that, we're going to finish this tonight, come on, help me, Holy Ghost, come on, hallelujah, Come on, the Holy Spirit is a helper. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He is going to help us. Come on, put it in the comments. Say, help me, Holy Ghost. Woo! Hallelujah. Come on, put it in there. Say, help me, Holy Ghost. I hope you all are still with me. I see I had an interruption. Hallelujah. Lord, help us tonight to get through this. Glory to God. I don't know what's going on. Hallelujah. But help, oh, there you go. Thank you, Tawana. Help me, Holy Ghost. Come on, put it in there. Help me, Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on, ladies. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. The, the title of this message tonight is Ask for Help. Don't forget to ask for help. As a student in school, we would always raise our hand to the teacher. If the teacher would say, if you need help, raise your hand. I'm telling you, my dear sisters, in the spirit realm, sometimes you need to raise your hand and say, I need help. Hallelujah. Ask for help. Ask the Holy Spirit for help. I'm telling you. The difficult thing that, that, that you have, the thing that has been difficult for you to do, I'm telling you, you will do it if you ask the Holy Spirit for help. My dear sisters, this year, we're going to accomplish some things. This year, we're going to reach our goals. This year, we're going to do what we never thought we could do because we're going to ask for help. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit is going to help us. John chapter 15, read all of it. It's so good. I am the vine. This is what Jesus said. He said, I'm the vine, you are the branches. You're the branches, I'm the vine. He that abides in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, I love this other translation, it says, apart from me, hallelujah, you can do nothing. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus tells us in his word, he said, listen, without me, apart from me, you can do nothing. Glory to God. But with God, woo, hallelujah, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Hallelujah. You can do it. The issue is we're trying to discipline ourselves to do things apart from God. It's so simple. It's profound. Ask your partner for help. Partner with the Holy Ghost. The issue is we're trying to do things apart from him. He just told you in John 15, you can't do nothing without me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Apart from me, you can do nothing. Ask for help. Partner with the Holy Ghost. In your business, partner with him. Your, your first partner in business is the Holy Ghost. Partner with the Holy Ghost. Partner with him in anything, anything you are embarking upon. Whatever you are trying to do. Your first partner is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Partner with the Holy Ghost. Psalm chapter 18. Read all of that. Psalm 18. Psalm 18. Psalm 18. It, you know this. You already know if you've been following me for any length of time. You know this is one of my favorite scriptures. It, David said, you, you make your saving help my shield. My right hand, your right hand sustains me. Your help, glory to God, has made me great. Woo, hallelujah. God's help is going to make you great. Hallelujah. Whatever you're doing, you're going to be great at it with God's help. God's help will make you great. 
Every woman that I am speaking to, you have great potential. When I was studying and meditating on this word for you tonight, the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, tell my daughters, you do not have the potential to be great, but you have great potential. God, help me today. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's not that you have the potential to be great. The potential that God placed in you is great potential. You have great God, help me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. You have great potential. The description of the potential that God placed in you is great potential. Hallelujah. It is not mediocre potential. It is not small potential. It's not make do potential. It is great potential. You have great potential. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The potential that is in you is great potential. Do you understand what I'm saying? You do not only have the potential to be great. No, you have great potential. Woo, hallelujah. Great potential is in you. Say it. Thank you, Deborah. I love you. I love y'all so much. You already ahead of me, Deborah. I have great potential in me. Girl, you want to, Deborah, you want to make me run around my house? Yes, Deborah. I have great potential in me. The way you describe the potential that's in you is it is great. Hallelujah. I have great potential. Come on, say it. I have great potential inside of me. Glory to God. I have great, say it. Yes. Sharina Cole, the, 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 my God, the potential in you is great. Glory to God. I have great potential. Vanessa. Yes. Catherine. You have great potential in you. It is not mediocre. It is not small. No, it's not. You have great potential in you. Carolyn, you have great potential in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to close tonight in prayer. Hallelujah. And tonight, my dear sisters, we are going to ask God for help. We're going to ask him for help. Listen to me. This is the year we are going to do great things because now you realize you don't have to do it by yourself. You don't have to, you don't have to maintain a healthy diet by yourself. You do not have to work out by yourself. You do not have to complete these tasks by yourself. You have help. You have the paraclete. Glory to God. One called alongside to help you. Jesus said, I'm going to pray the Father. He's going to send you the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. You don't have to do this by yourself. You don't have to do anything by yourself. The paraclete, he is standing by. Woo! Hallelujah. He is standing by to help you. Use him. Glory to God. He wants you to use him. That's why he's in the earth. He wants you to use him. Hallelujah. Use him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to close in prayer and we're going to get to a certain point in prayer tonight where you're going to ask God to help you. Now, I don't know what you need help with. You know that. You know that. So you're going to ask God to help you at a certain point in, in prayer tonight. He's going to help you. I promise you he's going to do it. All he's waiting for you to do is ask him. Hallelujah. He is going to help you do it. Whatever you need help with. Whatever assignment you have, whatever task is before you, whatever you are embarking upon, whatever it is, whatever, whatever uh, witty invention God has placed in your heart, whatever you want to do, Holy Spirit is your partner. Hallelujah. Remember, discipline does not mean I'm doing this by myself. Discipline means me plus God. Hallelujah. You can do all things through him that strengthens you. All right, let's pray, sisters. And then we're going to get to a certain part. I want you to put your request in the comments of what you need God to help you do. I promise you he's going to help you. I promise you he will. When you sincerely ask him, I promise you, your life is going to change. And he is going to help you. So come on, let's enter into his gates with thanksgiving and praise. And then we're going to put things in the comments, what you need God to help you do. I promise you, this year, no more excuses. We're getting ready to do this. We're getting ready to do this. We're getting ready to do what we are supposed to do. We're getting ready. We're going to do it. Yes, we're going to finish it. We're going to do it this year. Ask God to help you with that creative idea. Ask him to help you. You put it, you do it a little bit, put it on the shelf. No, this year you're going to do that thing. Ask him to help you. He's going to help you. I promise you. He's going to help you. 
<clears throat> he's going to help you do it. Okay, y'all ready to pray? Come on, let's get into it. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. We give you honor. We give you praise. We love you, Lord Jesus. You are so amazing to us. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We lift up our, our praise to you tonight. We lift up our, grat our grateful hearts. We're so thankful. Hallelujah. We're thankful for you, Jesus. We are thankful for your word. We are thankful for the revelation we receive in your word. We are thankful so much. Hallelujah. We're so grateful for the Holy Ghost. Jesus, we thank you for sending the Holy Ghost. You promised us in your word. You said, I'm going to leave you, but I'm not going to leave you comfortless. The Holy, the Father, the Father is going to send the Holy Ghost. He's going to be your paraclete. He's going to help you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to help us to do all that you have called us to do. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to help us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that is our counselor, the Holy Spirit that is our comforter, the Holy Spirit that is our intercessor. We thank you tonight, oh God, for sending the Holy Spirit. Oh God, and we ask you tonight, we thank you for this revelatory word tonight to ask you for help. We thank you for this revelation tonight that discipline does not mean we have to do this thing alone, but discipline to the daughters of the Most High God means we do it with God. Hallelujah. And tonight night, oh God. I ask you for help tonight. Hallelujah. We ask you for help tonight. Come on, sisters, put it in the comments. What do you need God to help you do? Oh, we ask you for help tonight. You told us to come boldly to the throne of grace that we may find grace to help us. We are asking you for the grace to help us tonight. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. We are raising our hands in the classroom. We have our hands lifted, Lord Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost of God, we are asking you to help us. Come on, sisters. Whatever you need help with. Hallelujah. God, we are asking you to help us. Help us this year. Help us to be all that you called us to be. Help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us to eat right. Oh, God. Let us, Lord. Help us to desire fruits and vegetables. Help us to desire the things that are good for us, Lord. Help us to take care of our temple, Lord. Help us to work out, Lord Jesus. Lord, when we don't feel like doing it, when we don't want to do it, oh, we're calling on the one who's standing by. We're calling on the Holy Ghost. Help us. Help us move our bodies. Help us, Lord. Help us do it, Jesus. We're asking you to help us to finish the assignments, Lord. The tasks that are before us, Lord. The things that we, we know that we should be doing. Lord, help us to do it. Help us to follow through, Lord. Help us to follow through with the plans. Help us to follow through with the assignments, Lord. There are things that we've had on the table for years. Oh, God, but this year, we're calling on the one standing by, waiting for, to, for us to ask for help. And we're asking you to help us tonight. Help us, Lord. Help us to be wives, Lord Jesus. Help us to be the wives that we need to be for our husbands. Anoint us for it. Help us, Lord, to be mothers. Help us, God. We don't have to be mothers by ourselves. Give us the wisdom to rear and our children. Help us, God. God, help us, Lord Jesus, to be business women. God, help us with our businesses. Lord, Holy Spirit, the counselor, we ask you to show us what to do in business. Show us the way to go. Give us insight and foresight in business. Help us to know the Oma. Oh Help us to know the thing, Lord. Help us to have foresight in business. The things that are coming up in our area of business. Whatever is coming up, the next thing, God. Give us foresight. Let us be ahead of, oh my God. Hallelujah. Whatever business, or whatever arena of business that you're in. We are asking the Holy Spirit tonight to keep us ahead. Whatever is coming up. Lord, whatever is next in that arena, show us, God. Help us to be ahead of the game. Help us to be ahead of the game. In the name of Jesus, God, show us, Lord. Oh, Holy Ghost, help us today. Help us to be single, Lord. Help us to run our houses, Father God. Let us never want for anything as single 
single women. Help us to be single father. Help us to be single and whole and joyful. In the name of Jesus, help us to wait on you. In the name of Jesus, help us to not compromise. In the name of Jesus, because we know, Father, you don't run out of anything. There's a man left for every single woman. There's one left for you. Help us to wait. In the name name of Jesus. Oh God, help us with our money, God. Help us to save. Help us to save and invest. Help us, Lord. Help us, Father God. Help us to save our money. Show us what to do with it, Lord. Help us in every area, Lord. Show us what to do to get out of debt. Show us what to do to be prosperous. God, we need your help. Help us to do, Lord. Whatever the doctor's orders are, Lord, whatever the doctor is telling us to take out of our diet or telling us to do, uh, God, help us. Hallelujah. Come on, ladies. Hallelujah. Whatever he's telling us to do, Lord, uh, help us to do it. Uh, help us to do what they're saying, Lord Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you, Lord, uh, that when you help us, uh, we don't know. Oh, God, help us, Lord. No more medication. Oh, God, help us to help ourselves. That there will be no need for any medication, God. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to allow our bodies to heal themselves. Oh, God. Lord, let this year be the year we call by <clears throat> Hallelujah. Let the doctors be surprised. Let the prescription cease. Woo! Higher, mm, God, hold on, let the Let the prescription cease. Let there be no more need for God. I hear you. Let there be no more need for it. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost of God, help us. You are a healer. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Hold on, let Help us, God. He called on the Oshaya. I thank you. Father, when the doctor sees, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, uh, the doctor will say, uh, you don't need this drug anymore, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, we believe you, God, uh, we believe you, God, uh, help us, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, the doctor will say, I'm taking you off of it. It's not necessary. Oh, God, we believe you tonight. Holy Ghost of God, let us, hallelujah, let us execute every part of you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost, help us tonight. Hallelujah. Help us pray, God. Give us a desire for it. Help us to pray. Lord Jesus, we are asking right now, help us to study, Lord, when we don't feel like it. Help us to get in your word. We don't have to do this by ourselves. Holy Ghost, help us pray. Holy Ghost, lead us into prayer. Holy Ghost, lead us into Bible study. Be our revelation in the name of Jesus. Help us tonight. Help us, help us, help us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We believe God. Hallelujah. He's going to help us. Glory to God. Discipline does not mean you're doing this by yourself. Discipline's me Discipline means you plus God. Hallelujah. Everybody is going to praise you because of what you were disciplined to do. But you will know within yourself. Oh, no, no. I got a silent partner. Woo, hallelujah. I couldn't do this by myself. I don't even want to do this. Hallelujah. But I got a silent partner. Hallelujah. I have a partnership with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Always ask for help, my dear sisters. Ask for help. Ask for help. If you are not saved tonight, I want you to repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I admit I'm a sinner. I am not living right. I admit it. 
Just admit that. The Lord knows it anyway. He wants you to confess it though. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us. Yes, he will. Of all unrighteousness. That's the Bible. So just say it. I'm not right. I'm not doing the right thing. I ask you to forgive me. I want a new life. I believe that you died on the cross for me and that you rose again and that your blood is for my atonement and you have redeemed me from sin. I accept you as my savior and as my Lord. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Say this word right now. Say, Jesus, save me. You are saved. You are saved. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, the Bible says you are saved. With the mouth that confession is turned into salvation. With the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth that confession you just made, you are saved. Go to church Sunday. You know somebody that goes to church. I'm, I'm praying that God will lead you to the church that you will grow in. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Go to my website, AngelaMartinMinistries.com. I want you to download those seven sacred starters. That's how you get my e-blast. Ladies, make sure you download that. You need to get my e-blast. A special message is coming to you. So make sure you download the seven sacred starters. When you download that, you are automatically added to the e-blast. Go to AngelaMartinMinistries.com. I have a book there that can help you pray every day. I have coaching sessions. If you want me to coach you in prayer, you can go to AngelaMartinMinistries.com. You can sign up for a coaching session. I'll talk to you just like this on Zoom and I can help you pray. I promise you. I can help you. <laughs> so you can do that as well. If you'd like to sow into the ministry at any time, go to AngelaMartinMinistries.com, click donate, and you can sow. God bless you, my dear sisters. Hallelujah. I believe God for you. We're going to do some things this year. The Holy Spirit is not just for running around the church and filling goosebumps. That is not his only assignment in your life. I want you to remember those, uh, every attribute that I gave you of the Holy Spirit. Remember that. He is the one standing by. <laughs> That's the one that blessed me. He's standing by waiting for you to ask him for help. I love y'all so much. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Love y'all. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you next week again on Pop-Up. Love y'all. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.